Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode and I am so excited uh, to share this video with you. Uh, so I just uh, got home from work and I had a package, I had a package. This, oh, I about took the TV out. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. Uh, okay, just a minute. Boom, got that bad boy in the mail today. And I'm sure by the title, you know, you know what I got, you know what I got. Let's, let's look in here, let's see. So, oh, Rick. Up there at Chaos Tackle, posted these. Like Saturday, I think. It's Monday, it's, they posted these on Saturday. And, uh, they're blemish rods. blemish rods, uh, what he said was wrong with them was uh, the, the telescoping part of it was, was a little tight. I don't think there's anything else in there. So the telescoping part of it was a little tight. And, So he was selling it out of the blame machine. He was selling them for like 80 bucks cheaper than what they usually sell. Um, so I got like a $200 rod for just over 100 bucks. Um, the rod is out, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else. That, Which is okay. Oh, dirty. It did send a sticker. So, which I would rather pick a sticker. Uh, but what I ended up getting was the nine foot spark. some sandpaper and but, I mean, it's a nine foot rod nine foot swat so extra heavy action um, be throwing stuff like baits, I think of bigger plastic stuff, bigger glide baits, blades, not not the super uh, big stuff, but um, bigger stuff, bigger stuff than what my uh, heavy action will do. But he said it doesn't retract. Oh, I see it right there. Uh, I can, like very, very minimal here. I don't even know if, so, you can't see it because it's so minuscule, but right here, the, the epoxy right here is uh, built up just a little bit. It makes it a little 
a little tight uh, to collapse, but I mean, it's not. The thing about it is that you can leave it extended or if you collapse it, it's just a little tight, give it a little twist, boom, retracted. Uh, I've wanted one of these for a really long time. I think for a, a big rod, they're probably one of the lightest ones. And here's the thing, like it's not even the lightest model that they make. You can get the, the 2020 Assault Sticks and it's even lighter. Um, but I am excited to have this. I'm not too worried about a blemish. I mean, if it's a little tight, I mean, you can see it in the camera there. Um, it's a little tight, but nothing to worry about. But I just thought I would hop on here and uh, first reaction to this rod. I guess I do need to talk about it. So I'll probably, probably put a Tranx 400 HG on this, the faster one with the power handle. And I mean, yeah, I, I'm excited about having this because it's almost jigging time down here in the south and um, now I have a run to do that um, but I, I'm excited to have this I uh, appreciate Rick uh, that's one thing I really do appreciate Rick and this ain't just a, a brown nose a moment but he will sell them blemish stuff like I bought lures and stuff uh, off of him that's been blemished that would work fine that people would, wouldn't usually buy and he sells them like he knows that they're blemished and sells them at a cheaper cost uh, so i appreciate rick uh, doing that uh, for guys yeah uh i just I'm excited to have this so it's like the mac daddy well not the, not the biggest one but definitely step in that direction so hope you all uh, enjoyed this little reaction video I just thought I'd hop on here for a minute to just see all you lovely people out there and uh, I will probably do a review maybe this is my review I'll probably put this in as a gear review but uh, that's fine first reaction to the assault set is I love it I've wanted one for a very long time and I'm glad I got a little bit of a deal on it. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hit the like, subscribe button, bell notification, all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.